welcome back to the channel. Um, uh, last we left off, we had created our post type of villages, and that's where we'll be storing our information for in our custom post type. And right now, we we still have a couple of issues uh, coming up. When we try to add a new village, we see that it still says new post here, and we have our taxonomies that will be coming up. They're not yet here, so we're going to build on that today. So. What we're going to learn in our lesson today is uh, how to change uh, these particular elements here into uh, to change them to to be called villages also, just like our custom post type. Uh, we're going to add a number of labels, and then we shall advance to add on some taxonomies today. So let's let's go into. Uh, we see it's the labels that are growing, and we'll be having more information coming in an hour array here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread out uh, this particular piece of code and I'm going to use uh, the basics of PHP. That is, uh, is I'm going to use uh, what we call variables and that is uh, I'll have a variable that starts with the dollar sign and I'll give it a name and call it label and this will store our labels array right here. So I'll just cut this from here, paste it here, uh, of course terminate that and then I'll allow the label to be referenced here which will allow us as we add more label fields into uh, our element here everything will be a lot cleaner so I'll just uh, run this here just to make it simple and easy and then uh, what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to get this array of items uh, right here and I'm going to call it a uh, arguments for our sex. So I'll also run it into a, a variable and then terminate that here and then I'll be able to reference it here as as arguments. So we're just going to do a little cleanup here and then uh, this and leave it on one line. If I save this and actually go back to our, our, ed, uh, our browser and refresh, everything is still fine, nothing is broken. So that's the, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do right now is, uh, is that you'll find that I'm repeating most of these texts. So I'll also just save them in a, a, in a variable. So I'll have, I'll have a plural name, which I'll call uh, villages, and put a semicolon at the very end. And then I'll just duplicate this and we'll also have a, a singular name. So. When we save that, I'm just going to get the plural name to go wherever we have villages here and just uh, save that. And then I'll, I'll just get also the singular name to go where we have the village here. So save this, always test your code, see that, that nothing is broken and yeah. Let me just change us in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other labels. I'll quickly just paste those in and then I'll hope I'll explain what they do actually mean. So I'm just going to get those from a code, for, a code snippet that I did here. Once I save this, um, I'll just explain this. So in our labels we've added uh, our name, which was already there. We have a singular name for the post type. We have a menu name, what will appear in the menus, uh, what will be for the parent, the parent name, and then we have all the items will be called by their plural name, which is villages. Whenever we say view or view item, we'll also add that to that. Whenever we add a new item, we'll see this coming up, we'll see the edit. Whenever we click edit or edit item, we'll see that. So I'm just going to reload here. When we reload, we see that uh, it's actually now saying add a new village or add a new village right here. Uh, when we go to the, the villages section, we're able to see village, add a new village. Uh, this would be very bad grammar, not village found, but we can actually just correct that by coming here and saying uh, and saying no village found. So we will just come here and uh, reload here. So we have no village found, we have this, if we try to search, we will probably get the no village sign. So I think this is a very good step for us. When we come here, we can add a new village in our menu. And if we go into our menus, 
we are going to be able to find the villages. I'll just go to the screen options to see that we also have the villages tagged in there. So once I come here, we see that we can add villages to our menu. Let's say if we had content. And this is made available by what we add in our arguments here. So we say we shall add it in the navigation menus. We shall add it in the menu. We shall add it in the administration bar. And then we shall, um, we shall allow the hierarchy for formatting like there will be a level of hierarchy for this particular post type. Then we shall also allow it to be exportable uh, by the users if they want to export the information. We'll also have it archived. We shall allow it to be searched in a, we shall give it a false for uh, querying in terms of search, but we also allow the public to query it uh, publicly. Anyone can, uh, can query for this information or we can throw it in our theme then we shall give it a menu position of 18, which is about uh, just below the media section and above the pages. So while we are talking about uh, this particular menu position, I am thinking you might be wondering, how do I get this number? Um, it's not something that I guessed up. When you go to the docs um, and you look at uh, the add menu page functionality in WordPress, if it also requires a, a particular position uh, here as a, as a default argument. So quickly, if you scroll down to the end, um, if you scroll down, you'll find that there's a menu structure of the numbers that have already taken, been taken up. So you cannot apply a two because that's a dashboard location. Uh, post six up number five, 10 is for media, links is at 15, and then we have pages at number 20. So me having a number between 15 and 20 is actually very okay if I want to position it that way. And that's where I want to put my villages. If I wanted to put it under pages or comments, I'll put it between 20 and 25. And the same goes for all the others. So if you don't add a menu position in a, your, your, your code, like right here, if you don't add a menu position, then automatically your, your, your post type is going to push going to be pushed at the end just after settings. Then the next thing we shall do is that we are going to give it a very nice icon which is a palm tree icon coming from dash icons. That is a default font that is in a classic press or in WordPress. So we have our palm tree coming up here. You remember the, it was before we had a pin just like the posts and by default we get that pin. However we've changed it to to the palm tree so to have all our information there. So I would say most of the information we need for our post type is actually done. Um, the only thing that I would like to talk to you about is um, the supports. So when you add a, uh, an argument of supports, um, you remember whenever we come to our, if we go to, I'll just go to add a new village. Whenever we go to our posts, we have a couple of things. So this is our title, we have the editor here. We have custom fields showing up here. We have discussions and author and a number of things that we can turn off in our screen options uh, if we wanted to. However, we can also explicitly uh, say, you know what, we're not going to support maybe the title and author and custom fields. So I'll just take out the comments, custom fields and author for a start to show you what I mean. So if I save, I'm explicitly saying this particular post type of villages is not going to have this information. However, it will have the title, it will have the editor, and it will have the thumbnail, which are already here. Even if we go to our screen options, we'll find that we only have just the featured image showing up uh, at all, uh, only that. So we can decide to say, you know what, we also don't need the editor for now, so maybe we'll just take it out and maybe at an eventual date we would probably want the editor so if i save this and come here and reload we're going to see that our editor is gone so we just have the village title and we have these items here so i think we are good to go now we shall be looking at the ta taxonomies and that's basically what we have in posts like categories or tags you can register your own taxonomies and we're going to actually register something that is new uh, we shall register our districts, we shall register our sub-parishes and all the other information and we'll make it available. All this information that we've been putting in here can actually be found 
uh, when you go to the codex of uh, WordPress, that is uh, codex.wordpress.org, and you look for the register post type functionality. So you'll be able to see uh, what post types are, are reserved uh, automatically by WordPress, uh, and then you can see these particular labels that we're actually using here, and that you can set up. There are more that we haven't added, like uploaded to this item and ABC, and you can actually look this up and, and find out more information about uh, what we've been uh, discussing in this particular uh, tutorial and this particular chapter of our, of our development. So if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up right there uh, in the video, or if you have any questions to ask, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on the updates as we go in our series or any other series that we shall be starting up in the future. Thank you for watching. Have a good time.